and I'm back to the high pitch voice, like this is my friend. My friend, Mary Carol, she's going to lecture on finality. some closure. It's uh, a weird thing to ask somebody uh, to give a lecture on finality when they have a constant um, a neurotic paranoia of the uh, constant um, ever arising apocalypse and the ever coming of end of all things which we experience. Um, so uh, we're going to bury the phantom brains and I had to do some archaeological research into where the phantom brains are coming from. Um, so I started to dig into the folds of the fabric of our reality with uh, some intuitive tools that I developed and I found um, the place where the phantom brains come from. Um, Neil's life is moving on. He's got a kitten now. <laughs> sound bites um, throughout the evening. I also have visuals. Do I have some visuals somewhere, Jonas? Yeah, yeah. Oh, sweet. I um, don't have technology, but I have photographs. I remember it back to the um, last first Montague Phantom Brain Exchange. This is the first last one right now, but the last first one uh, happened three years ago, and Dave Russell gave a speech. Fuck David Russell. David Russell passed out a bunch of photographs. I'm gonna do the same. Please pass those around. Those are photographs that I've collected from um, the place where the phantom brains come from. And the place where the brains come from um, is a very interesting place. What I come to understand is that it's a place where uh, psychological deformities in a brain manifest as physical genetic mutations. And we see people's neuroses manifesting as a physically grotesque reality. And I've been in contact with a woman who has a skin of mirrors. And she compulsively reflects back to the world what the world gives her. And it's a compulsion and it's sick. And she grows a skin over herself when she becomes so disgusted with other people reflecting themselves through her and perpetually she has to uh, break out of the skin. I oh, I have to find my worst skin of shining shimmering mirrors I reflected. Pick my love's desire, set this deepest fears I strain to bear my own true face, but find it very queer. Others see me as they are on trapped inside of here. 
Uh, let's bury the brains. We're gonna, um, did anyone find my chalk? The chalk was not found? There's a box somewhere. We need a door in the floor! He spent the day in a storm of dust, the sun at the floor! Every inch is a knock and locks in every single board! He stood in his triumph! He admired the new door! Which would mean we'd exchange phantom brains in Montague! No more! Put your brain in the floor! Put your brain in the floor! We're closing the door! We're locking the door! The door in the floor! Um, has it been 10 minutes? Or a final vote <laughs> on finality? <laughs> I think the interesting thing about uh, giving a lecture on finality um, is that it doesn't exist in, in this realm of reality. But what I found in the place where the phantom brains come from is that there is finality. There's no absolute nature to our reality. It's like you're experiencing heartbreak and it's the be all and fucking end all of reality and there's nothing for you but heartbreak or it's like a summer day in October and you're floating in fucking bliss and I went swimming yesterday and the water was October temperature um, but there's no be all and end all. There's no absolute nature. There's no finality to a summer day in October or to our heartbreak. Um, Neil got married this spring. And answers. What's on your forehead? My forehead. Mirrors. Oh, mirrors. I have a skin of mirrors. <laughs> any other questions? Any other answers? Yay! 